Biden intends to keep participating in the incineration of Gaza. Notes from the Edge of the Narrative Matrix. Biden administration officials are telling the press that they have no plans to place any conditions on military aid to Israel. CNN reports. The Biden administration has no plans to place conditions on the military aid it is providing to Israel, officials told CNN, despite growing calls from Democratic lawmakers and human rights organizations for the U.S. to stop providing weapons unless Israel does more to protect civilians in Gaza. Speaking to Democratic donors in Washington this week, President Joe Biden acknowledged that he has had tough conversations with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu about Israel's military campaign, how Israel is losing international support, and the need for a two-state solution led by the Palestinian Authority. But he said, even throughout these discussions, we're not going to do a damn thing other than protect Israel in the process. Not a single thing. Echoing that sentiment, U.S. officials told CNN that the U.S. has no plans to shift its position and draw any red lines around the transfer of weapons and munitions to Israel. End quote. This is the real story of Washington's relationship with the incineration of Gaza. Ignore all their feigned concern about civilian casualties and posturing about Israel's need to wrap this up soon. In reality, they intend to keep backing this mass atrocity unconditionally. Israel has a right to defend itself sounds reasonable, until you realize it actually means Israel has a right to kill as many Palestinian children as it wants in its efforts to eliminate all armed resistance to a murderous and tyrannical occupying regime. Israel supporters like to say, Hamas can end this any time by surrendering. Israel can end this any time by ceasing to be a murderous and tyrannical occupying regime held together by endless violence and apartheid. Israel wasn't attacked because Palestinians are innately evil and want to kill Jews. Israel was attacked because it has treated Palestinians horrifically for generations. If Israel and its allies ended the injustices, paid reparations and righted the wrongs that they have been inflicting on Palestinians for the last 75 years, there could be a sustainable peace. The only way to believe all this intense civilian-slaughtering warfare is necessary to obtain peace is to believe Palestinians are orc-like subhumans who are acting out of an innate hatefulness and thus cannot be reasoned with or negotiated with. It's not okay for adults to believe this. Hamas can end this any time by surrendering really just means Israel gets to keep murdering Gaza's children until Gaza's government gives it what it wants which is about as evil a position as you can possibly imagine. This is not an acceptable position for any person to have. Find someone who loves you as much as Germany loves being on the wrong side of history. Israel's unique focus on attacking hospitals makes no sense as a military strategy, but makes lots of sense as an ethnic cleansing strategy. Western media are constantly babbling about Iran-backed forces in Yemen, Syria, and Iraq. Yet Israeli bombings are never described as U.S.-backed, even though they indisputably are, and even though the evidence for this is far stronger than any claims about Iranian backing. Both Zionists and people who hate Jews conflate Judaism and Zionism and both Zionists and people who hate Jews contribute to spreading hatred of Jews by indoctrinating the public with this distortion. Pretending to believe pro-Palestine chants like Free Palestine and From the River to the Sea are anti-Semitic hate crimes and then claiming you feel threatened by them is like if I decided to pretend the phrase Israel has a right to defend itself means genocide all white Australians, and then started saying I feel very unsafe now because I live in a society where people are constantly calling for my death. It's not about you. People opposing an act of genocide is not about you. It's not about your religion. It's not about your feelings. It's not about whether your feelings feel safe on an elite university campus. It's about ending an active genocide. It's got nothing to do with you. I will never get used to Israel supporters saying things like fuck around and find out and that's what you get in response to news of civilians being killed in Gaza. I just cannot understand the kind of mind that thinks it's a sane way to respond to children being murdered. 
You just know all these big, tough-talking guys yelling fuck around and find out in response to criticisms of Israel's massacre of children are the weakest, most glass-jawed, spindly little bitches on earth in real life. I am 100% certain I could take any of them in a fair fight. My driving motivation is, is there anything more I can do to end this sooner? Because ending this even ten minutes sooner means a child who would have died lives. It means someone gets to keep his limbs. It means a family has a home to go back to. I don't criticize Israel because I want to. I criticize Israel because I have to. If I could avoid saying stuff that gets weird sociopaths shrieking at me and calling me a Nazi all day long, I would. But if Israel's going to commit horrific mass atrocities, they must be opposed. <laughs>